Hey guys, how's it going? Have you guys seen some of the stuff going on with the censorship on YouTube? It's been going on for a while on Facebook, on Twitter. It's just getting worse and worse over time. And it seems to be targeted more towards conservatives than anything else. Um, but just recently in the news here, um, there's a conservative uh, guy named Steven Crowder that has a show on YouTube. He has a show on The Blaze, I think, and, and it's just he's on YouTube too, but he um, covers a lot of different news, and he goes to colleges, and he does the thing that, uh, you know, it's called Change My Mind, and he'll say, you know, there are only two genders, Change My Mind, and then the college kids will debate with him on topics. And um, he also, you know, he has his YouTube show or the show on the blaze the louder with Crowder and he has different hosts or he has different guests on there and then he has other people that you know are part of his crew and he jokes around a lot and laughs and stuff and um, it's not one of my favorite channels but I've subscribed to him I watch him every now and then and uh, he recently had all the ads taken off of his YouTube channel he had you know his channel channel demonetized basically he can't get any funds off of the ads on YouTube because of some guy from the uh, this other YouTube channel called Vox and I'm not sure what this guy's name is right now um, I was looking at it earlier today anyway he uh, his YouTube or his Twitter handle gay wonk and this, this guy's on this YouTube channel called Vox. And Steven Crowder has around like 3 million subscribers. And I think that Vox might too. So Vox is kind of like one of his like liberal or Democrat kind of competitors. And uh, this guy on Vox is a homosexual. And like I said, his Twitter handle is Gay, gay Wonk. And so he uh, accepts, you know, being called gay or whatever. But I guess that Steven Crowder has made fun of him before and he called him a um, a lispy queer because he talks with a lisp or something and he called him a queer because he uh, categorized himself as a queer but the, he's taken offense to it now and he's messaged YouTube and uh, basically that's the reason why Steven Crowder has had all of his ads taken away and uh, I guess Crowder gets money from other ways he's got his own website you know and he's on the blaze and he's got this thing called the mug club where people subscribe and you know he gets donations and all that but I'm sure that you know it probably took a hit for that um, still you know it'll probably go further but you know obviously one of the worst things was back when um, Alex Jones had his uh, YouTube channel completely removed. He had he was removed from Facebook. He was removed from Twitter, and you know he had his PayPal taken away from his website. And they just nailed Alex Jones, and um, because of some of the conspiracies that he's put out there. Um, but you know it, it's it's becoming more and more. And um, I guess some people would say even before that, Milo Yiannopoulos, this homosexual guy, is conservative on Twitter. He was removed from Twitter. He was kind of an early one that was silenced. And now, you know, Steven Crowder's had all his ads taken away. And then I saw Jesse Lee Peterson, another conservative, a black guy that I listen to every morning, which I've said a lot. I don't agree with everything he says, but I find him interesting and entertaining anyways. And, and his show is a live call-in show, so you never know what's going to happen. Like every morning, you know, they touch on some new subject, and then they take callers, and the conversations can go anywhere, really. So um, he's had all of his ads removed, too, and I'm not sure specifically why, but I think I've read that one of the reasons is because he's criticized Ian Omar, this Muslim congresswoman, basically saying that, you know, Islam isn't, you know, doesn't go along with, you know, uh, the traditions of America with um, the way that America is but he's had all of his uh, monetization removed and also it removes the ability to give these people super chats like when they do live streams on YouTube you can chat in the live stream and then if you want your um, your message to be displayed like you know it has like a color on it and it makes it more known you send like a donation it's called a super chat and um, so that's the way that a lot of people get money too. It's crazy. Some of these channels I've seen grow, you know, since I've done my channel. I've seen channels, you know, 
grow majorly with thousands and thousands of subscribers, tens of thousands of subscribers, and they can get insane donations on the Super Chats. And uh, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Um, but anyways, you know, Jesse Lee Peterson, Ian, he's got his own website. He's been doing stuff for a long time, so he gets money other ways. But yeah, these are hurting him in a way. It's not as bad as taking their entire channels down or, or taking their videos down or giving them strikes or whatever. But that's probably going to come next. But uh, also they do the whole shadow banning thing. I've noticed lately that um, if you search for any kind of a news topic on YouTube, usually you're going to come up with the mainstream news people, you know, right off the bat, like NBC, CNN, Fox, whatever. That's what you're going to see. You're not going to see independent journalists covering it, even if they have a lot more views or subscribers, you know, on their channel or more views on their videos. They're not going to pop up first. Um, unless you unless you use the filters or something like that, it's always going to be like the mainstream news, uh, which is pretty insane. Um, feels like YouTube's totally changing. It has been, and it and it will continue to. But uh, the reason I'm making this video also is because I just seen Brian Denlinger uploaded a video, and he said, "Why isn't Steven Anderson banned from YouTube? He's been banned from uh, 30 countries, but he's still on YouTube." Which is pretty amazing. He has had strikes on YouTube, and it is really amazing that Anderson is on YouTube, but I doubt that he will be for long. Um, eventually, the day is going to come where he's probably going to be removed, probably completely removed like Alex Jones was. Um, I think he's had his PayPal taken down before, too. So he has had a lot of uh, censorship, and um, but Brian Denlinger had a video removed that he was um, refuting Steven Anderson for denying the Holocaust. So uh, Brian Denlinger was defending the fact that the Holocaust happened. And it could be for a few different reasons. I mean, it could be because of the stuff that was... He said he thought maybe it was because of graphic stuff in the video, but at the same time, you know, they could have uh, just made it to where mature audiences would have to view it. Um, or, you know... It could be because it said Holocaust denial in the in the title. I think that could be it. Um, I don't know, but it's pretty stupid. It is pretty stupid that he got his video removed for that. But he didn't get a strike or anything, so uh, and he doesn't monetize his videos, so that's not a big deal. You know, I don't monetize my videos. I don't ever want to do that. You know, I've gotten donations and I appreciate that, but I don't really want people to have to sit through ads on my videos or anything. I just don't really care about any of that. So, you know, and one thing I just remembered that I wanted to talk about at the very beginning, talking about Steven Crowder and this guy from Vox that got Crowder's channel demonetized. On Twitter, this guy from Vox said uh, that he wants people to milkshake, you know, conservatives or conservative congressmen or whatever. He wants them to throw milkshakes at them, which is basically, you know, promoting assault. But apparently Twitter hasn't done anything about that, you know, and YouTube hasn't done anything about him. Somehow he's the victim and all this, uh, and um, and he's gotten his way with Crowder, and so they're taking action on all kinds of people now. And uh, it's just it's funny the hypocrisy, you know, with all the rap videos and even rock music and everything, you know, that they'll go under the banner of you know their art, but you know there's a lot of homophobic slurs that are said, violence is promoted, and everything else, but they're going at the, after these conservative um, talk host people. And so that's that's interesting, just the bias and the hypocrisy there. And uh, I don't know whatever will happen to my channel, if anything will ever happen. I don't know if I've gotten too controversial, but I did recently talk about the MGTOW subject. And MGTOW is seen as a hate group, basically. So I could have put in, I could have risked myself by even putting that in the title of, of a couple of my videos. But, you know, at the same time, it's like you're almost risking by doing anything on YouTube, even if I put Christ. You know, if I put Christ as Lord in the title, I'm probably risking getting a strike or something just for that. So, you know, I can't just, I'm not just going to, you know, not not do something because I'm too worried about it on YouTube. Uh, my channel's being backed up on BitChute and other ways, and, um, and, you know, I'm on Spreaker, and I've got my own website, and... I'm on Twitter and Facebook and I'm on Gab and, you know, I'll, I'll be on more things if need be. But, uh, 
it is getting crazy, the censorship. But I just wanted to mention about that with Brian Denlinger. And um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I know that Trump or the White House, they did have a website where people could report censorship, you know, like unfair censorship. And I guess that website was temporary. It's down now. And I guess they're just going over everything. I know that there's like lawsuits and stuff for like antitrust with all these big corporations. I don't know what all that entails. And, you know, and do we want the government involved in these companies or not? You know, it's, it's tough, but it's getting out of control. So I don't know what to do about it. And, you know, it seems silly at the same time. It's just YouTube. It's just the internet. But at the same time, you know, a lot of that's how we get our information stuff now. So, you know, is it silly or not? I don't know. Yeah, as far as people making money, I mean, having, you know, not being able to make money off of ads is one thing, and then having your channel completely removed is another. Um, but then they have shadow banning, too, to where basically people won't find your videos. Like, you can upload videos, and everything can seem fine, but but when they search, they can't find. Kind of like I said with, like, the news, like, when you search for news topics, you're always going to come up with mainstream news uh, channels now instead of, like, independent journalists. So there could be a lot of really good stuff out there that you're not seeing. you got to dig through pages to, just to get to it. You know, I might not ever get to it. But I don't know. Maybe we need to pray about this situation. But, you know, what could we say? I don't know. I guess I could do something. Do the Lord. Uh, we come before you, we just thank you for all your goodness in this world. We thank you for our lives, and we thank you for our salvation, Lord. We thank you for our friends and family and everything that you blessed us with, God. Uh, uh, Lord, we thank you that, you know, we're, we're able to communicate across the world with, you know, the internet with telephones and, and by letters and everything it's, it's just a beautiful thing that we can connect with people from across the country from across the globe and uh, we can communicate and interact with brothers and sisters across the world and um, you know people can be converted uh, through these mediums as well you know YouTube can be a great tool and I uh, thank you for the blessing to be able to use that and for all that I've learned from other channels from, from all that we've all learned um, and I think, and I just, I pray that we'll be able to continue to, to use the internet as a great tool, whether it's on YouTube or not, but I pray that, uh, that things will be straightened out here, that, uh, you know, that there will be justice, you know, there will be equality, and, uh, if, if people are going to be banned, you know, if one side's going to be banned for something, then the other side's banned for it, but I really pray for more of a freedom of speech, that, the different ideas um, can be uh, can be out there, um, you know, whether everybody agrees or not. That uh, it's good to learn from different viewpoints, and uh, I just pray. Uh, I don't know, Lord, what how how this is going to be dealt with, how it should be dealt with, but uh, I just pray that uh, you know the censorship just doesn't get any crazier that. Something happens that, uh, I just, I don't know. Only you know, Lord. <laughs> uh, just, I, I'm just saying my concerns to you. I'm, I'm concerned with the way that things are headed. And, and I pray that you bless these people if, if they're wrongly being censored, that, uh, somehow they will be, they will be justified. Lord, and <clears throat> thank you, Jesus' name.